What's going on guys? Welcome to your next Unity tutorial. And now that we've covered some of the basics of programming, what we're going to get into is developing our first game. And Temple Run is kind of a, you know, it's going to be a little bit more difficult than what, should we, what we should start out with. So what we're going to create is a simple brick breaker game. And we also want to create a menu screen, as you can see here. We'll add some other games to this series as we go, but these are the only ideas I have as of right now. We're going to create a brick bre breaker button within our menu screen and also a Temple Run button. It'll take us to the appropriate game, but within our brick breaker scene, what we're going to need is a ball, walls, bricks, paddle, um, all the good stuff. We need a score, we need a way to die, and we're also going to spice up the game after we've completed all that. So it's going to be a pretty, uh, pretty quick uh, building process, but hopefully you guys will understand Unity more and how it works with different scenes since this menu scene is going to take us to the brick breaker scene. That's what we're going to create in this tutorial. So let's jump into it. Uh, back in Unity, we've created this scene so far, which is kind of a sample temple run. We're going to come back to this. So let's go up to the file, and we're going to say uh, Save Scene. And we're going to save this within our Assets folder. And we're going to go into our Scenes here and save this as Temple Run. All right. And now we need to create a new scene for our menu screen. So let's go up to Create New Scene. And let's just save this right away as Menu. Again, within our uh, within our scenes folder. Now, if you didn't save it within the scenes folder, what I want you guys to realize is you probably want to do all of your movements within Unity here. Since we save this menu not in our scenes, we're going to drag it and drop in here. And what I mean by that is, if we went into our Navigator or, or Finder or whatever you guys are using, um, right here we could have gone in and we could have moved this scene here. But sometimes. I mean, we just did it. We moved our menu back to where it was previously. But sometimes uh, when we move stuff around in Finder, Unity has a hard time figuring out what just happened. And it's, it's going to break some of the links that we'll need. And obviously it didn't do it here. It actually moved the menu back. But when you're working with different objects and textures and all this stuff you're going to include in your game, you always want to make the changes in your uh, project tab here, your project environment. So let's just jump into it. Uh, what we need to create is some text, right? Uh, we need to create some text files for our uh, Unity. Let me kind of get this into shape. So just to make sure you guys are in the same position, select your camera, make sure it's at position 0, 0, negative 10. Just like when we created our Temple Run template or just getting started. Uh, and now what we want to do is we want to go up to the Object tab, Create Other 3D Text. This is going to be your menu title. So let's select this and go into Inspector, relabel the actual object name as Menu Title. We're going to go down to the Text Mesh, where we create this Hello World here, and we're just going to change this to uh, Menu Title for now until I come up with a more creative name for our game. Now, as you can see, it doesn't really look like it's in a good position. Let's change this back to 0, 0, 0. So as you can see, it doesn't really look centered, it doesn't really look that good. That's because the anchor right now is down here or actually uh, upper left so it'll be right here is the anchor point which is point zero 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 what we actually want to do is we want to take this menu item and put the anchor in the center of it so let's just go again over to our text mesh and click on the anchor here and go to middle center and now this is position zero 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 and it's anchored in the center of our object now we can just move it up a little bit to make it look alright and let's just copy this and paste it and paste it again and we're just going to change some things around here I'm going to say temple run option um, and we're going to change the text here to be temple uh, temple space run and let's also select our other one here and we're going to change this to uh, brick breaker option item whatever you guys want to label that as and brick breaker and let's just move some of these down so it looks alright you might want to change the font size or something like that You just mess around with the text mesh as of right now if you want but not a big deal alright so now we're getting somewhere menus looking pretty baller if you ask me uh, you probably could get a job at AOL just doing this so uh, there you go now what we want to do is we want to have these options be clickable. We want to see if we click on our mouse if we're developing a web game 
or if the user taps on their on their screen if it's iPhone or Android game and we're going to bring ourselves to the next scene. So now that we've already created somewhat of a temple run scene within our scenes here we're just going to kind of talk about creating the file uh, to open up the temple run there. And we'll get into the coding in the next tutorial guys so thanks again for watching and check out the next one and have a good one.